Yes, as well, I've come on the set. Good viewing, yeah? Good viewing. Count, all right. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, the Kaf Kadash. You know, number one is that apostle elders of Great No Stone. You know, Shalom to the brothers that, to the hopeful elect that are teaching this word, you know. So, you know, brothers, we're just here together. You know, and then um, the goodness is on there. He's looking at the other All right. You know, we're, we're just sorting out how it, you know, sorting out the camera and stuff as going to be. And, uh, but, you know, we're no brothers. We're just here together, you know. And then um, we're just talking about things, man. You know, talking about life, man. And brotherhood, you know, not being niggas. You know, and things that's happening right now, man. You know, let's get that one in Peter's, the milk, desiring the milk. Because you know things that's happening right now, teaching the right things, not you know not thinking more of yourself than you are. You know what I'm saying? We're kind of talking about all these different things. If anyone's got anything, but I was thinking about that one. Peter's desire is gone. Gone, mate. Um, this is First Peter chapter two, verse two. Oh, like it it says, "As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby." Exactly. So the scripture's talking about desiring milk, man. You know what I mean? So you can grow. Like a baby, we always break these it down. You know, we've got foundations of how we've been taught to break things down. A baby needs milk to grow, man. You ain't know, just giving a baby tacos and steaks. We always, you know, brothers break same breakdowns. We always say it you know, nationwide with Arkin. You don't just give a baby a steak, man. It has to have milk. And we're considered babes. So we need milk to grow. We need milk to grow our sinews, our bones, our strength. Our, you know what I mean? Yeah. So desiring milk. So we got to desire milk. Don't like... Go ahead. It says more on that one. Though, it? it says, on, if so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Exactly. So desiring the sincere milk, if so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. So, yeah, that was it. That was it. On that. But the point is that milk. Mm. You know what I mean? You have to stick to foundations because we've been taught we've got a lineage that we come from, so we have to stick to that. You can't go outside of that. You've got a lineage that you've been taught of how to be what it is. You can't, don't deviate from that. I you know what I'm saying? Because there's some nigga shit like now you all of a sudden you know different things. Fuck all of that. Stick to what we know, man. Basics, foundations, and that foundation you'll never be able to be moved. That's the parables, the how should I spoke about that? That rock that can't be moved. Because that rock stood on base foundations it was taught. When you start swaying outside of that, what happens is you start, you, you know, you're going outside of the order, man. You, 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 you want it? You have something. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Go on, go on. First Corinthians. So we we'll read everything, man. Go on. And one says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal. Even as unto babes in Mashiach, I send you with milk and not with meat, to hear the two you are not able to bear it. Yeah, we're babes in the Lord. We're, we are technically, it doesn't matter, we've been in it, some brothers been in it, whatever, I speak, eight years, five years, six years, we're babies, man. You know what I mean? Nine years, we're babies, man, in the Lord. But then what, is that, is that Paul? Uh, yeah. And what did Paul say, he said, that you said, you, just like a babe so you can grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you're against God, brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto calm, even as unto babes in uh, Mashiach. Yeah, as unto babes in the Yahweh Shire. So you got you got you gotta be taught the, the things that you grow. You know what? It's better to know one thing and know it than to know millions of things, millions of scriptures and not really know what you're talking about, man. It's better to have that foundation that you know and you can stick by it. So any time anything happens, anyone says anything against the scriptures, you can always you got you got any <laughs> scriptures you can always standardly know. That's that's solid, bro. That's solid, man. Go ahead, that. I've fed you with milk and not with meat, to hitherto you are not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. Yeah, you can't bear them except the meat. Mm. So yeah, so you, you when you get like trying to get too deep, it's not really like you know. You can't even you don't even know what you're saying for one, and then you ain't you can't you ain't really you, you haven't really eaten that meal properly because it wasn't for you to eat. 
You're still a babe. You're trying to eat steak. You're not a steak. You're trying to eat a madras curry. You know what I'm saying? A baby, imagine a baby in a vindaloo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can't do it. They're going to spew it up, man. So let him finish that. Go on, that. Go on, that. This is for ye or yet carnal. Yeah, for ye or yet carnal. And it's true. You know, like someone that wants to be too deep. Really, they're carnal. You know why they're really carnal? Because they're really doing, trying to sound deep to be seen. Yeah, it's vain. That's another thing we've got to smack out of our brains, man. Being vain. You know what I'm saying? Being vain ain't good. So you try to use the word to be vain. Yeah. That really ain't good, bro. So what did the, what that's what Paul said when he said gone, eh? For you to get carnal. For you to get carnal, man. For whereas there is among you envy and strife and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? For while one says I am Paul and another I am Apollos, are you not yet carnal? Who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But but ministers by whom he believed, even as a Lord. I gave to every man. Come on, come. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quick one. Uh, uh, this is um, Ecclesiasticus 19 and, and 24. He that has small uh, understanding and fear of the Most High is, is better than one with much uh, 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 wisdom and transgressive the law of the Most High. Exactly. That's 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 deep, man. So someone that has like so-called little understanding but fears the Lord, he's 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 in, he's in a good spirit, man. And someone that has don't be uh, fear the Lord and have, what does it say? Has like little understanding. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He that have small understanding and fear of the Most High is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses yeah. the law of the Most High. Exactly. So you got people that are deep as hell, man. In their eyes, but to the most side, they're not deep because they don't keep, keep his laws, man. But then you got a man that people will, will look down on because he doesn't have all that worldly wisdom. But guess what? He keeps the laws of the Lord. He's, he's, he's very scared of things. He's scared of the most side. He's, then he's deep in the eyes of the Lord. And then guess what? If your eyes are looking spiritual, you look at him in that sense. You look at that man like, yeah, that, that's a heavy brother because you're looking spiritually. He's keeping the laws, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about all wisdom and sounding smart and all that. But then you said sound smart, but then you can't keep simple things the most I said, man. Mm-hmm. You can't stay in the order. You can't respect people. You can't respect Akiyam and the truth. Mm-hmm. Shall I say, not just random people, even though we know, we, you know we're not niggas out there, but you know what I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to, yeah, man. So you got someone that don't know, don't have his worldly wisdom, but he keeps order with the most high. He, then that that dude's good, man. God, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is that yeah, to say something? Yeah, yeah. Go on, man. Go on, man. So that them things are important. You know what I mean? Like what people you got to look at that is even like what people don't deem as important, but it's important to the Lord. That's what's important. You know, people can think you're a lunatic, but then guess what? That lunatic. Keeps every law of the most high, man. But in the eyes of the world, he's a babbling buffoon. Well, he's, a, he's an insane person. But guess what? He don't do nothing the most high not said not to do. So, you know, to us, you see, in this society, any, most people, everyone that follows Esau, because we have to follow this world to an extent, but everyone that just believes in Esau, they're mad to us, man. Why? Because they follow him, they got a structure, they're following. But that's not against, that's against what we believe. Oh, he said. Go on, man. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright is an abomination to the wicked. He's yeah, in science, man, you know? A guy that's upright in the eyes of the Lord is, is basically, he's going to be looked at like he's got three heads in the eyes of demons. Like he's mad. It's like he's mad. Well, look how they treat you. Look at how it's shy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That he kept every law, right? Yeah. But then guess what? They looked at him, what they said, you, you cast out through devils, you do miracles through devils, and so on and so forth. They crucified the Hamashrak, you know? So that's a perfect example. And the scripture says, Mark, would the crazy, crazy man? Yeah. Would have crazy hurt him. Yep. So, uh, uh, no more? No.
Um, this is Jeremiah 9 and 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wine glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord with which exercise love and kindness. Exactly. So you got all these people out there in the world with riches, with knowledge, and all that, right? Wealthy knowledge, but they don't know shit about the most high. Then you got a brother that is, you know, a lowly man, you know, so called deemed nothing in this society. But he knows a lot about the Lord, man. He keeps his commandments, he does his he learns, he's learning. You know what I mean? So you got all these people that glory in their little their wealth. I've got a Ferrari. And everyone's looking at them in awe. You know, all the holes that, you know, even the, the holes that you might, you might want to pop, you want to pop a lot of these holes. I don't want like to pop her. But she don't like it because she likes to eat. <laughs> but he's a, he's a buffoon. He's a crackpot in reality. But then you, he is, you've got a man of the Lord that's disrespected and he's deemed as nothing. So it says, the scripture talk about, let the man that knows this, that he's got a glory in the Lord. Because you can glory in your little silver rims. Yeah, but that ain't done mean shit. What about when the most high stops petrol? What about when the most high stops money? You know what I'm saying? But your mind ain't prepared for that. Go on, what did I say? Let him read more that what I said though, because that was going into something. Let him glory. Yes, with Jeremiah 924. But let him that glory the glory in this, that he understand it and know. That I am the Lord, which exercise love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Yes, so the Most High, you have to, if you want to glory in anything, you got to glory in that you know the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, bro? That's the most important thing man, for all of us. You know? And then even in us glorying in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, you've got to do the right things amongst each other. Amongst, you know what I mean? Even when you're not being seen by brothers, but you're not, you gotta know the Lord's looking at you, man. You know what I mean, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being niggas out there, talk, teaching anything you wanna teach, all these kind of things, bro. That, that shit is, that's off, bro. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wanna break what I want down right, because mm -hmm. maybe that I've got a group of people that like to hear me speak. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a, there, I've got a following of 50 subscribers, so I can say anything I want to them. They don't know no better. But there's an order, bro. There's an order that we've been taught. So you got to filter that down, man. And that shows character. That's right. And people that don't show no character, that's niggas, man. Please, sir. Go ahead, bro. Go on, bro. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yeah, evil men. Really, you know what, man? It's, not, it's funny because you know what? You know, like what's what's in you? If you if you if it ain't if you're not like battling Satan, you like start to manifest. But really, at the end of the day, it's about the elect anyway. You know what I mean? That's why we pray with the elect. We hope with the elect. Mm -hmm. It's true. Evil people. Will just, guess what? They'll just get worse, bro. They're gonna keep it up till the end anyway. So it's about being of the elect. So you gotta pray. You're not. You don't. You don't want to be in that life, man. That's like one of the worst things, you know what I mean? To be in the light of someone that is just waxing worse as a demonic person. Man. Evil men shall have gone, man. It says, verse 14, deceiving it. But it said, did it say deceiving and being deceived? So that means they will teach random shit and they'll keep teaching it, man. But then they're really being deceived. The Lord's putting that in you. Right. But then the, the brothers that are of the elect and people that, brothers that are keeping the right order, they're not going to fall for that. They're gonna stay in the right, the right spirit. You know what I mean? They're gonna stay in the right. They're gonna keep believing what they've been taught through faith. They're not gonna sway it otherwise. There's, it's an order. Yeah. And it says, "But continue thou in the things which thou has learned." Exactly. Yeah. Go on, man. <clears throat> and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Yeah. So we've been taught. That, yeah. That's right. You know, we've, we've learned. We've learned. Look, man, we've learned from the apostles of Greece, right, right, right. and the lying on down. You're gonna speak. You're gonna speak. You're gonna speak. The lying on down, and you gotta stick to that. You know what I mean? You can't 
have your own thought pattern. But I think this really. Well, you know, I think that. You know, I'm gonna teach this. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all, man. Well, you know what? If you want to do it, go ahead. Go ahead. Go on, man. Go on. No, what was you gonna say? What was you gonna say? You want to do it? If you want to do it, go ahead. Because at the end of the day, it's about it's about who's on the elect and who ain't. That's the fight here. Ain't about how much you know and how deep you can get. As you can talk about, oh, I can break down how toenails fit into the big toe. You know what I'm saying? Go on, bro. You want to say something? It says verse 14 again. It says, but continue. And the most high looks at them. The Lord looks at things like how you respect people. Uh, is he keeping the right orders? The lineage, the line. Is he keeping the right line? You know what I'm saying? Is he trying to deviate from what he's been taught? That the Lord is gonna, gonna observe that. And if you are, and it can be one thing, bro, it can be something that you deem as minor, but it's heavy to the Lord. So go on, brother, go on. Okay, it says, but continue thou in things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned. Yeah, sorry, bro. And the point that I can really want to, to speak on then stress is you know what it says and, and what being assured of. So 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 when we started to like watch these these uh, camp videos and, and learn, like we understood that hey, what is being spoken of here. Is right, man. Like, yo, wow, wow, it's powerful, it's, you know, it's powerful, it's deep, it's beautiful. Because we got uh, like a show in what we've been taught by the apostles and the elders, man. So like now that we've had that, we can't say now, okay, yeah, yeah man, I've been in the street for four or five years, okay, I'm deep now. So I can come up with, with my own doctrine. Yeah. Because when you first came in the truth, you saw those men and was what assured in them. You know, was assured in, in what, what was being told, man. So that's that's all I want to say. What's changed? Yes, it's exactly. What's changed? Well, I got the word for assured, right? Mm. Uh, and the Greek is pistou, right? And it says to make faithful, mm. to render trustworthy, to make it's firm. Pistou. No, it's pride too. Go, go, go on. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. yeah, the word for assured, right? It says to make faithful. Oh come on, bro! So so but so so when you was watching the apostles, well that's what built your faith up. You're like yo, yeah, man, I'm mean, this alive. Deuteronomy, that, that. So when you was watching the apostles, what made you assured yeah. was what the apostles were teaching. So now, yeah, you, you just want to go and just make something up. Yeah, you know, and, and, and faith is what faith is a gift. Again, yeah. you know, that's in Ephesians two and eight, and the scriptures told you that you know without faith it's impossible to please the Most High. You know, scriptures it tells you in Hebrews four and two, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so you have to hear this truth, like what the Ethiopian eunuch understands what thou readest. How can I accept some man should guide me? Yeah. So he even understood that he had to be guided, yeah. and he had to hear it, and he had to be guided. You know, it says to make firm. It says, um, to render trustworthy. Ooh. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Bro, look, I wanted to say, what are you saying? I think I was checking something. Trustworthy. Mm. You know how important it is to be, like, trustworthy amongst people? Bro, amongst, yeah. forget people in the world, but even them, we do a certain way. Bro. Let's say the brothers, yeah? You don't want to be dissing brothers, because if you fucking make offend a brother and it's that bad, you know how it's going to Take you, you never, you never look at you the same way. How about that? So it's better to be honest, man, because the, the, you know, if I, if, we, if I offend you to such an extent, you're never gonna deal with me the same way again. We might be cool, but then you might, you're gonna always gonna look at, look at me a certain, in a certain light because of what I did. So you gotta be very careful how you deal with brothers, man, and how you think about brothers, man. Come what, come straight up with brothers, man. Because if you do it, you know what happens, man? You're going to fuck up eventually. It's going to catch you, man. And that's this world. This world teaches you that. In this world, people shake hands, but they hate each other. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you're my, you're my friend. You're my friend. Yeah, yeah. Everyone throws that. They don't even know what the word friend means. Friend means to be a brother. 
That's what the actual friend, the word means. So in this world, yeah, 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 hey, I'm like, yeah, brothers, yeah, 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 brothers. But then he'll go home, he's a prick at that, that, that place. He's a, he's a this, he's that. You get me? But then, you know what I'm saying? So they would be cool with each other in their face, yeah. But we can't do that amongst ourselves, bro. Whatever we emanate amongst each other, it's got to always be the same all the time, man. Right. I have a quick, quick verse. Go on, bro. You said. <laughs> yeah, go on, man. This is Proverbs 18 and 19. A, a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. Yeah, so if you offend the brother, it's hard to win him back. Then it's hard to get him back than a strong city, man. So that, you know how important it is to not offend the brotherhood, man, in yeah, the, the first place, place. Yeah. First from place. the jump. Because you know what? Because you know what, man? And that doesn't mean you can't be yeah. honest, though, bro. If you, if you feel a way and speak, but don't harbor things where it becomes a big deal. Because you know what? It's a, to win him back will become like a hard to be a, hard to get a city back. Hey, you try, hey, try and fight three men tonight. You get, you get, it's, you, it's probably beating the hell out of you, man. Try and fight one strong cat. It's hard. So there you go, man. So imagine trying to win a whole city back. That's like, a, like the Lord's got like the metaphors, you know. Mm -hmm. That you, it's hard. You can't get. It's basically near enough impossible, isn't it? So if you, it, to, to the extent that I offend you, that's gonna, that's gonna show the level of a, I mean, yeah, difficult. how, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's be That's why we think you've got to kind of nip it in the bottom amongst each other quick. Don't let it manifest to something longer than it is, man. And stuff's going to happen amongst ourselves. But guess what? Address it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it says, and uh, let me just read it again. Hey, it says, uh, a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And they're Contentions are like the bars of a of a castle. So like, I'm, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna speak to so you. it's just very. It's like even before Gosh. you get to that stage, you, 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 really, it's about not even getting to that stage. Yeah, you know, brothers have d d different personalities and stuff. But what what we're speaking about here is hate, man. You know, it's hate. Because when it gets to that stage, bro, it's very hard to come back. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's the point. And that's why you don't want to go, go with it, man. Go with it. Really, you want to be in the brotherhood until the end. You don't want to be stuck out there on your own or, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out if I can get back in this thing and what did I, you know, just stay in the order, man. How about that, man? Is that that? It's not, it's, you know, I was going to say it's right. that hard, but it's true. It's like, it is a fight, man. but look, stay in order, fam. All of us. It's not that hard, but follow what's said and believe it and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Don't start going in your own direction, man. Mm. Oh, I know more than this, man. I know more than you. No, no, but I know more than you. I know more than you. No, but then, you know what happens? I know more than you now. All of a sudden, but I know more than... I'm not going to say, but I know more than... Yeah, I know more than that. I know more than... You think you're that fucking deep, but you learned that you're an Israelite two days ago. Yeah. Oh, sure. You know what I'm saying? You learned, you just walk, basically, we just woke up yesterday. Yeah. Because for the most part of our life, we were just fucking, hey, we weren't doing shit. Yeah, just some bug out, man. But then now, or two days, you've learned, now you just know everything. You just got it down packed. Show some fucking humility, man. Yeah. Go on, go on, man. You got something in there. You got something in Up to the brother, yeah. Go on, man. Go on. Romans 12 and 3 for our sake. Speak on it as well, man. And yeah, for our sake, through the grace given unto Romans 12 and 3 for our sake, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, uh, according as the most I have dealt every man the measure of faith. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the best example of that was a um, post a couple of weeks ago. Um, when he said, uh, I'm not diligent enough, you know, but this is someone who you, you, you put on the video, you can go to the channel, and if, if, if a day has gone by, two days, you're like, oh, I hope the apostle's all right, you know, but in that, that was, you know, being sober-minded, 
you know, and it's, you know, we've got great examples that we can look up to, man, of how, how, how we should all be, you know, you know, always in the spirit of what we can do more, um, you know, not, not, not letting, you know, uh, uh, you know, not getting beside ourselves. Mm. Exactly. So, appreciate that on the point you made earlier. Yeah. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter... Say it, speak to you, man. Can't, can't. This is First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. For who make it be to differ from one another? And what has thou that thou didst not receive? That's the spirit. Now, if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou hadst not received it? You know, so you know, brother, mum was mentioning like being puffed up against one another, or because it's good to say knowledge pop up, you know, or I've got this, or you don't, know, all that. That's envy and strife. That's that's of, that's of the devil. That ain't of the fruits of the spirit. You receive. It's good to say no man can receive anything except to receive it from heaven above. So you receive your measure of this knowledge. So why are you puffing up against your brother? You know why? Do you, you think you came up with God on your own? You receive that man through the spirit. You know, through, through the spirit, you have washed and that was taught to you by the pastors that people from, which is our apostles and elders. Yeah, we've had we've had dudes around, man, do that. I'm so great, you are beneath me. We've had them spirits, man. We kind of experienced a little bit of things like that. But we know that's not the way to be, man. You know what I mean? Because if you think like that, then you're not even anybody. Like, what the hell is going to happen when you get some type of power, man? Man, we'll all be in slavery. You know that shit like that? That's why the Lord ain't going to give power to no niggas, man. Give a nigga power, what happens? They abuse that shit. You know what I'm saying? Give some niggas power and they take the piss with it, man. Then they don't have to, you know what I'm saying? They're not humble, they don't have to help, they don't have to, you know what I mean, bro? That's why it's true, because that's why even the Lord don't even, even with that money shit, bro, the Lord don't give every brothers millions of pounds, because you might lose your mind with that shit, man. The Lord gives you what you need. Someone might be able to handle millions of pounds. Someone might not be able to. The Lord gives you what you need, man. It's mad, man. But it's true, you give someone a bit of power and then abuse it. And it's true, people come into faith and they might, you know, because of the, the way things are, you might get a little, brothers might, you know, look at yourself, you get, you get in some rank, then you start taking a piss with other people. Mm. That's not how to be, man. You, you, if people look at you a certain way, that means you've got to become more humble. The scriptures talk about kings being more humble. The scriptures talk about um, uh, knowledge, if you're like a wise man, you become more humble. I can't remember what ground you met. The more you become great, the more you become humble, bro. Mm, yeah. Not the more you be, the, if you become, and you're not even supposed to look at yourself like you're great. But if you you're, if you're great, so I'm just there's no humility. That's a bug out, man. You know, how was shy to watch the disciples speak. Mm -hmm. You know that shows great levels of humility you right there, man. You know, just to add to the point. You know, in that same scripture you quoted, it says, "And thou shalt find favor with the fucking Lord." Mm. You know, you know, to be to, to think, oh, well, I'm deep in this one. That's not that's vain glory. You know, that's that's not finding favor in the Lord. You know, you're gonna find favor in the Lord by showing really the scriptures talk about sacrifice to the Lord, what a broken and contrite spirit. You know, constantly keeping on yourself and being humble. What we said, go on, man. First Peter's four and seven. You speak on it as well. But, but the end of all things is at hand. But be ye, it says, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So that's the point. Hey, the point is that the end of all things is at hand, man. You know, this ain't about trying to guard vain glory. Yeah, it is, but all kind of prophecies popping yeah. off. And you, you just worried about. You know, how big your biceps are on a live street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you went and got you with the arms up. Right? You know? <laughs> That's it. Spirit probably do that. You know, whatever. But you know what? You know, it's true. Image shit. Yeah. Image. Yeah. That's the world we're in. Image world, man. Image world. Image world. You know what I mean? Correct. It's true. People take pictures of their dinner. You know what I mean? Then pose next to the dinner. I just had a, and the caption might be I just done a leg workout, mm -hmm. and it's the five of their leg rippling with the chicken next to it. Games, hashtag games. You know, 
It's some pride shit. Yeah. You know? It's true, man. Yeah. Some proud ass world. <laughs> what the fuck? This is some pride shit. And you know, we come from the this world too, but then we have to purge ourselves of pride. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, they, 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 we're gonna go there. But we purge ourselves of these prides, man. You know, fuck being proud, man. We're, we're, first of all, we know like we're in slavery. You know, we're in captivity. We're on the east or on the other nations, man. All of us, man. We're, we're getting whipped spiritually yeah. in this yeah. world. Yeah. You know? So what the what was there to be proud about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really, there's nothing to be proud about, man. There's, there's, we've got to be strong because you've got to be strong to keep fighting spiritually, but there's nothing to be really proud about, bro. We're fucked up. We're not to stunt on and You know what I mean? <laughs> to be saved. Exactly. Someone that needs to be saved, it can't be no stunt on that. All right. Someone that needs to be saved from a bad place can't be no hot shot. Mm. It don't make no sense, does it? You know what I mean? It wouldn't make sense if we're all doing videos with gold chains on. Yeah, yeah read that brother. Yeah, yeah, we just catch hell. You've got gold chains on and shit. And you're just stunned. You got there's women in the, you can hear food frying. They're in the back cooking for us. You know, they're in the back cooking. You know what I mean? But we're just here, like, you know what I mean? Like, we're stoic. You know what I'm saying? But reality, it don't make no sense, man. You can't be no stunner. And if you're stunning, you can't really be humble. Mm. If you're stunning, you can't really be humble. It's hard. How the hell are you going to be humble when you know you've got fine honeys and, and whips and chains? How the fuck can you be humble with whips and chains and fine honeys? That don't make no sense, bro. Yeah, like these celebrities. Yeah, I, yeah, like these celebrities. Now, all of a sudden, you've got these celebrities. They're like, some of them not, because they know about Israel, some of them thought that they're with it. But then they still got their deal. It don't work out, bro. Yeah. Can't sell two masters. Mm-hmm. Well, he scripture says, for even you will love the one and hate the other, you know? That's what happened with DMX. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because he was a, uh, you know, he, he sort of came across the street, but he wanted to continue touring. So, you know, the word on the streets is he took that thing to continue touring, and then they go and go, oh, no, he's dead. Mm-hmm. This is um, verse verse 8. It says, And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Yeah, and that's that's true, man. Charity covers sin, covers the moral issue of sin. So you gotta make sure that you're, you're like helping. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, make sure even if you're like a brother that makes money, distribute it, man. Make sure that hey, bro, you need a little thirty quid, you need a little thirty pound dollars, whatever. Mm-hmm. It might not be a, a you know a lot to other people, but it's it's hey, it's helpful. You know, you might have a brother that's surviving on one fifty a month or something. That little thirty quid extra is helping him. Um. Yeah. If it's shit like that, for real, man. Like you know, that's how you gotta think. You gotta make sure whatever we're doing in us within ourselves, you think about others. You know what I mean? Apply that. Don't just think about. That's this world teaches you that. Think about yourself. It's me, 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 me. It's all about me. So the world teaches you that. And we we come in. To, we we've got traits of that. You gotta come out of that, man. You know what I'm saying? What does other people need? It says, use hospitality, no. use hospitality one to another without grudging. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. Come from your place. Yeah. It has to come from your place. It has to come from your place, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it's out of hate, you're really, it's like, it's really like a cousin to yourself, man. You know? Oh, no, no, man. You know what I mean? But really, deep in your spirit, or against it, that's fake, man. Yeah. Every father ain't really on with fake. You know? Good. Yeah, man, because you, the when you go into that word grudge, it's murmuring. Mm. He's just chatting shit. He's, so one side you help, you, you're looking like you're helping a brother rap. <laughs> and the other, you just never. Fuck you. Don't fuck you. 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 Listen, be there, be part of the body, man. Just be involved. Be involved. You know what I mean? And the more you're involved spiritually, you're gonna grow that way, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if you're not, if you're if you're 
involved, but you're not you're not coming in the right way. The whole side is gonna do something where he gets rid of you, man. Yeah. And you don't wanna be a castaway, you know? Paul said that. Yeah, and it goes the other way too, man. Don't be taking advantage of brothers either, man. See that? You know? Yeah, you the know? parking. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, you get the parking. Yeah, them other dudes, right? Them other Israelite camps, man. That dude called cool, the pocket. You know what I'm about thinking? I just think of a deep pocket where everyone can go in. You can all pull what you want. Hey, shower, man. Come down back to work. You know what I mean? You just go into a deep pocket. Deep. Can... That's 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 fucking ridiculous, man. They call it the pocket. That's wicked. That's wicked as hell, bro. You call it another J, which you're calling you're supposed you're supposedly calling your brother, but you're, you're calling him the pocket. You're taking the piss, bro. Yeah, uh, bro, uh, bros, man. You call him the pocket, the human pocket. Like, come on, that's like a, a Marvel character. <laughs> they took the piss. They put it a DC to the pocket. Yeah, you know, they're taking them. Go on, that go on, that. He wrote his gun. I know he took it to there. That, 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 that's that kind of like the topic, man. Like, sticking to the lane of what we're taught. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm You know, and just have mercy on each other. Be humble, man. I have a quick one. Go ahead, bro. You speak on it as well. This is kind of, this is 1st Peter 5 and 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to, to another and be be, be uh, clothed with humility. For the most high resisteth the proud and give the grace to the humble. Mm. You, know, you, you want to make a point of that, boy, you can. You know, hey, the scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. Mm. You know, and hey, the scripture says look, the, the worst thing on the most high is hit this is a proud look. Mm -hmm. The most high resisted the proud, man. You know, so you don't want to be proud, man, mm -hmm. lording over brothers and shit, and being tyrants, abusing brothers, chatting shit about brothers. That's not you, that, that's yeah, backbiting, backbiting, yeah, that's grudging, that's you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because bro, what does it say? The most time resist the proud. Mm. I mean, if if at some point that Ooh, happens, we, like, no, 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 sorry, Shaq. No, no, you know, you speak. Sorry, bro. No, I was just gonna say, like, it's, because like, you know, if a person proud and he gets the spirit has him get get pushed out, it's gonna be hard for him to come back in because the most time has what he well, yeah. resisted you, man. Right? You know, that's why that Psalm fifty one and praying for each other because mm. yeah. if you if you fuck up, man, you could be out of the circle and, and you're resisting. No. Hey, and whatever you're saying about a brother, man, make sure you say it to him too. Don't go to an other brother and say, I hate that brother over there. But you're not telling him that. Or why? You know what I'm saying? Because if you bring him that news a year later, you know, where did this come from? But you've been harboring that for a year. Tell him. You might as well tell him, bro. You know what I'm saying? You might as well say, honestly, bro, I've got a problem. I need to speak to you about something. Whatever, man. Whatever it is, at least you've aired the issue, man. Mm. It's true, man. Because, you know, we come from this society. This how this world is. Everyone in this world is a fucking bitch. They don't even have to really... I'm talking about men. Forget women. We know they're going to do what they're supposed to. Men don't even express themselves in this society. And it comes out with, with, with aggression. Female. They act like females. And they, they, you know, the guy might be generally strong. But he's got a female's brain. You're not supposed to do that as men. You're supposed to bring it to the table, man. Like, that combat is the last resort. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't walking around with tampons every month. Yeah, complete. And then, damn, yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. A tampon. Then, ah, that brother. This brother, he said this and that. But then you're not telling him that. If I, I might feel that way and say, but I'm going to tell you that. You might as well, fam. We, 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 that shows um, you being a man as well, man. Mm -hmm. Being honest, having the spirit to say it to another brother, man. Look, I need to talk to you about something. Don't harbor feelings for two years when it comes out. He doesn't even know what you're thinking. Two years later, you're just you're screaming at him. Tell him, man. Like, yo, bro, listen. I didn't like this. I don't like this. That cuts bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. Preset. Come on, bro. Matthew 18 and 15. 
Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Exactly. So go talk to each other. Talk to him, man. I need to chat to you about something, man. man. This, this, you know, talk. Be real, man. Be real, man. Come out of... That's the Roman system. Because I was, I, was, I was talking about... This Roman society teaches you that, man. Teaches you, you... You go home and everything... You might be in an environment where you're around people, right? Let's say the job, for example. And then you're calling... Yeah, that's my mate from work. And like, yeah, hello, Bobby. Hello, Bob. How you doing? And you go home... And when you're around your people, you be like a fat Bobby at work. Why don't you, you that's this Roman society teaching you to be like that? That's the Edomite system teaches Jake us to be like that as a people, man. Or the, the two thirds and it is wrong, shall I say, as a you know? But really, you know the, the scriptures talk about what you're supposed to do when you're offended. What you're so there's there's protocols, man, which we knew that in the ancient world. Now it's just all fucked up. And then, they, you know, we bring it with us in the faith, but you got to snap out of them. Yeah. It says, it says, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Speak, say it, man. Speak on it, bro. Speak on it. And that's it. It's about reasoning, man. You know, if you got a hope with a bum, you go to him, you tell him straight. And, you know, if he if he hears you, if he don't hear you, then he's going off. You know what I'm saying? He's got he's got you got put with a brother, you've got to speak to him about this book. Can I talk to you about something? And he's being proud. I'm gonna hear him. And, and he ain't showing mercy. You know, what, what, what kind of I mean what kind of faith is that? Don't talk to me. Yeah, don't. <laughs> he's shutting you up. I'm gonna hear him. Listen, man, the keep saying nothing. It's true, it's true. What the fuck kind of shit is that? It's like talking to a brute, man. Right, right. You yeah, can't yeah. reason with a brute. You, you can't reason. Re so, then, then, so then that shows something about that person then. You can't tell anyone anything. Come on, bro. Yeah. You got, you, you're got holding something as well. Right? I know. Well, you bring out what you want, but you're going to bring out. Make sure you bring something out as well. Right? You speak as well, man. Go on, man. Go on. But, but if you will not hear me, then take with the uh, one or two more. That in the mouth or two or three witnesses, every word may be established. You know? So then you got to go through the, the brother spoke about the proper channels. You know, you got to go through the proper channels, man. First, you go to that brother. He ain't talking about, oh, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to, he's shutting you down. It's a war. It's a war straight. Then, then you got to like, right, listen, okay, okay, bro. Do you see what you're saying? Okay. I'm trying to hear that. You know what I mean? Hey, you might even really be like sick, bro. I don't give a you know what I'm saying. Bro, I'm trying to No, it's true though. That's like that's a woman that, that's a woman. That's fucking okay. Yeah, that's you know, cause cause a woman you can't tell fuck who is a brute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really like a brute. Come but on. we all like, you know that. Come on, man. A, a man ain't meant to do that. Yeah. Like a woman is like you can't tell them fuck who. But a brother a man ain't meant to do that. You're meant to be able to tell a man something where you can ponder on it, well, you know what, all right. You know, I'm sorry, let me think about that. You know, let me come back to you and talk to you. Give me a time to mull on that. Stuff like that, bro. That's more manly. Go ahead, go on, man. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto me <laughs> as a... That's what I'm saying. Quite, bro. Quite. Yeah. It says, but if he neglect to hear the church... Let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a public. And, and especially in his truth, man. If you've got more than, uh, like, uh, if you've got, like, two, three brothers saying the same thing, mm. you're wrong. <laughs> like, obviously, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not just saying if it's just one, but, like, if you, if something is getting out of hand, man, two, three, bro, you're wrong. Just yeah. accept it. And you're the only one with that Xerxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're still stubborn. You're still stubborn, man. Like Xerxes. Like, bro, bow to me. Bow to me. Like, bro, it's very clear. Like, because at the end of the day, if we be of his elect, every man individually, if we be of his elect, we'll be a man of the Lord. So if you've got two men, three men of the Lord saying something to you, bro, then something's up. But you know what? That shows how spiritual the person is. If you can't tell them that, and they can't reason with you, that kind of shows their level, man, because or their way of thinking, not to sound deep, but you get what I'm trying to say. 
You get me, bro? It's like, that shows your way of thinking. You're so proud no one can tell you nothing. That means you're, well, who do you think you really are, man? Mm. That means you do think you're God King Xerxes. When was that? When was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that, too. And that was deep. But when them kings are in power, you can't tell them shit. Mm-hmm. Even though the, the dude was a heathen, you couldn't tell him nothing because the Lord didn't take him down yet. Mm-hmm. So it's like with brothers, you can't, what can you say, man? What are you going to say, man? You're going to still be proud. Yeah. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's the spirit of Esau. Come man. on, man. So it really goes back to Cain. Man. Even Cain, he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the most that came to himself. Right. Oh, God, I don't know about that. That's what he said. Right. So, like, the, the most high knew what he did. He he, he and he said, oh, my God. I don't know about this people. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he justified himself. Yeah. And that film, that season was kind of like that. He's kind of... He was feeling himself hard, man. He's like, remember that? Remember when he put his, sh- his hand on the United's shoulder? <laughs> and then he kind of bowed and the arrows came like he's ripping into the dust. Like, that's what people love, that people love when you bow to their will. Mm. You know, in this world, it's like, you know what I mean? But it's like, you got to bow to the Lord's will. Yes. And then, you know what, if a brother tells you something honest and it's real, you got to be real. You know what, man? You're right, man. Straight, bro. Well, you meant, man, well, then it falls in your character now. Mm. Now, now you, like, if a brother's coming to you or something, now you got to look at yourself and say, Hold on a minute, this is a potential man of the Lord. I've got to look about what this potential man of the Lord is saying about my character. Now you gotta really judge yourself if your intention is true. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hold on a minute. What is he is what he's saying true? Now if it's true, then hey bro, work on it. If it ain't, then hey, I'm right, cool. But you tell him, listen, bro, all due respect, cool. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, you told me what you told me, and I'll take that on board, man. Whatever. You know, and then you gain a brother. What? I'll you take know? that on board, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so, with it, oh, I'm gonna Take that for real, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna Lord willing soak that in, man, and grow, and grow, and grow off that. Because yeah. you know what, people in the world can cut you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? Let alone a brother tell you. Imagine a brother that's around you that knows what's going on. People in the world cut you when shit they say. Someone in the world might say something like that shit. That shit. You know what I mean? You can't be proud, man. Oh, come on. Uh, um, this is uh, this is second Corinthians five. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your your own selves. Know you not your own selves? How that you, you, how shy is in you? Except ye be reprobates. So, you know, so, 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 so that scripture is saying, you know, like it's important to like, you know, like basically think, man. You know what I mean? Think about things which you've done, things which are happening, and just go according like, back onto the spirit, man, and grow. You know, to not just be a simple like a meathead brute. No, I, 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 I don't care about him, man. And just being simple, you know. Hey, the um, the, the uh, scripture says what? Uh, the uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 a spiritual man observeth all things, man. You know. So if yeah, if something is happening, then hey, it's according unto the spirit, man. You know. Yeah. Oh, and then even that, even in, in the problem for what does the scripture say? Um, before a uh, judgment, examine thyself. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's important. Because if you don't, that time period might come with judgment, where it's not a time where someone's getting uh, uh, kicked out of the truth or even killed. You know? So that's why the scripture says, before judgment, examine thyself, man. Yeah, because the scriptures speak about the, you know, the beam. The beam in your, you know? You've got to remove the beam in your own, in front of your own eyes before you can remove the mold that's in your brother's eyes. So before judgment, examine yourself. You know? Like, if what you're telling the brother, how you be telling the game on the ball, but you're doing that same thing? You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta watch ourselves too, man. You know, examine ourselves whether that'll be in the faith, you know? Don't be a hypocrite too, you know? Which a hypocrite means an actor, you know? Hmm. Luke as well has got something after you. Don't you get it? Don't speak, don't get stuck on that after you go on. Speak on it too, mate. Just a quick one. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 1. 
He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck and shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy, which goes into being proud, you know? So when you get on frustration, hey, you know, being honest with yourself and, 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 and praying for meekness and, and being in that meek spirit, you're going to be checking yourself, checking your own pride. We all got to check our own pride. And when sometimes you're going to have your, your pride check externally, mm-hmm. you're getting cut by people in the world, by getting cut by spiritual men, the, bro- the brotherhood, you know? Because mm-hmm. ultimately you're getting cut by your heart washing your shadow. Those are probably three things. Yeah, but if you've got the spirit, if you see, it's true what you're saying. If you're spiritual, you're going to see that though. Mm-hmm. If not, you're just going to, wonder what? If you can't be prodded at and spoken to, then what the fuck are we playing? What are you doing? Mm. Someone can say a brother. If this a brother, that's a man of the Lord, can say that to you. I'm like, yo. And you, and this takes you to be spiritual to see that. Well, you know, I believe he's a man of the Lord. You know, what? let me just, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you're, what are you doing? You're just looking at people that ain't shit. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? What the? What kind of growth is that? Mm. Mm. And you know, it's funny, man, because scripture just said he that been often reproved hardened of his neck. And you got the example of them wicked ass Jews back there. What did they they stole Stephen? Mm-hmm. Right? And what did he say to them? He said, You stiff met mm-hmm. and aren't circumcised and hard heads. You do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. So that's the spirit. Really, that's the spirit of Esau. You know what I'm saying? You of your father, the devil. You know what I'm saying? They were coming in that devilish spirit, right? You know, mm-hmm. being stiff men, not wanting to hear nothing because he was cutting them. Mm-hmm. Remember, he went through the history. You know what I'm saying? He was cutting them so hard. He said it, cutting them hard. And that's how bad it can get. It can get to a point where a brother wants to fight, take you out because you, you know, look what he thinks he's out of shine. Which is because he's fighting against the, the, the Holy Spirit. Exactly. Fighting against the Lord. Exactly. You know, like if you're getting cursed out constantly, you're fighting constantly, you're fighting against the Lord. It, it said they, 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 they pass pass the ah! That's when you clench your teeth when they're going to crack. And the scripture says, the scripture says, that means they, 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 they got really cut, they cover their ears. Wow. The scripture says they cover their ears, man. I was just thinking, if you're a man of the Lord, the Lord's going to correct you anyway. Oh. In, the, in the case of uh, the Apostle Saul, yeah. Paul, you, got you know, kick us against the pricks. Mm-hmm. You know, the Lord set him straight and then that, that was it. Yeah. Hey, you know what, bro? Sometimes you're going to hear harsh things. That's life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? People are going to tell you harsh things, man. But it's, it's how you do with it. You know what I mean, guys? Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to throw your toys, as I would really put it, throw your toys at the pram. You're going to do that, or you're going to eat it a certain way. Think about it. You know what? Yeah, man. You see, you don't just, you're not supposed to just jump at anything that's said to you, man. Mm. Why do you like that? Straight away. You just jump. Nah. That's not a good mentality, because that's a spirit. You'll keep doing that. I mean, if you, uh, you know yeah. what? Yeah. Think about things, bro. Yeah. Hey, that goes for all of us, man. Yeah. Mm. You know what? Think about it and really take it in, man. And then pray for understanding if you don't understand. You know? Yeah, well, if you constantly want someone around you telling you that your shit don't stink, yeah. Yeah. there's something wrong with you. You're man. levitating, bro. Yeah, oh, you, bro. You're just a perfect brother, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> Listen, bro, man. Hey. Right. The scripture says open rebuke is better than secret love. You really you want someone to tell you, listen, bro, like what's going on with that, man? I don't like that, bro. Like, that's you want that honesty because then hey, that's gonna build you to be a better character. You know what I'm saying? And the truth. You don't want someone to go, oh, you know what I mean? Like that like, like, somebody the OJs, they smile in your face and all the time they want to take your place. The backstabbers. The backstabbers. Yes. You know, all that, man. It's lucky, bro. Nah, you're right, though. No. You don't want to be. No fucking backstabber, bro. No, you know what I'm saying? Them, them spirits, bro. Fuck that, bro. Be honest, bro. Mm. That, like, you know, like a, a snitch. You don't want that shit. Like a, you know, there's him. There's him. There's him. There's him. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. For real, man. But it's real. You don't want to be like, no, it's him. It's his fault. It's his fault. Do you know what I'm saying? It's them, man. It's him. It's never you, though. You know, you gotta fucking own your shit out here, man. Like, you know, go on, bro. You know, we we'll close up soon because you know, like, go on, bro. Uh, this is Proverbs 28. Yeah, we're going, huh? go on. This is Proverbs 28 and 23. Right. He that rebuke, rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Mm-hmm. 
You know, so I got a, a open rebuke is better than secret love. You know, openly rebuking, man. You know, being and and, and, and that goes into what being restoring one to back onto to being spiritual and to be us. You know, considering ourselves always, man. You know, that's the it's better to do that because you don't want to suffer sin upon your brother. You know, that's being a true brother because mm. you don't know, like because think of it like this: we want to be treated the way. We want to treat others as we are. We want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're going down the wrong path, right? And you can't see it. Now, a brother can see it, and he don't warn you. You'd want to be warned. Mm -hmm. Help me, you know. And it's the same thing that we got to see. Uh, you know, that's how we got to treat others, man. You know, if you see something that's stumbling, you see a brother going down the wrong path. Hey, brother, don't go down there. X, Y, and Z. You know, because you that's part of looking out for each other. That's true love. Mm -hmm. Amen, bro. Yeah, if that man don't say anything, he sees you walking up a cliff, then really he's a nigga. Yeah, that's hate. That's really, that's really hate. You so what, yeah, want you to be destroyed. Yeah, weird. What's your intention? Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Smile in your face. But at all the times, they want to take your place, backstabbers. Mm -hmm. Sister Rock 21. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again. Some man all of his tongue and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from her. Speak on that. Um, yeah, yeah, so it says, um, and there is reproof that is not uh, uh, comely, right? Um, a reproof that is not comely, uh, which would that word comely goes into like, uh, you know, uh, the beauty, you know, things that you know, look. Um, you know, particularly, uh, basically, basically, look, man, things are going to come at you in a way that you may not like, and that's just it. This is, it is much better to approve than to be angry secretly, and I just once again going into, you know, honesty and then just, you know, uh, you know, let it out, as opposed to just holding it in. Um, and it goes into, and he that confesses his fault shall be preserved from her. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's, hey, hey you going to, you know, we, we all gonna fuck up. You know, they're just being honest about it. You know? And you're saving your life, man. Doing that. Mm -hmm. you know, honesty, like, helps you be right more on the more side. Even if you decide you're being, you can do something fucked up, but the more side can put you back on the right track. Because you're, honest. Because you're being honest, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Another one. Yeah, man. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9, two are better than one. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Don't, don't want to be a fucking liar. Like, uh, okay, I'm known brothers in the troop together. We don't want to be no liars, man. We don't want to be known as a liar, bro. That's a, a liar, proud, all of these things, man. So go on, man. So there's two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. And you know, I've got to bring this one out because that's the that's the whole point of the brotherhood, you know, to help help each other when we fall. Um, you know, uh, just just in everything, you know. Yeah. No, we'll close on that. What you just read? You got something else you wanted to read? Out? Uh, I was out. Uh, anything else? Wanted to say anything else? Um. Did you want to I'll, say? I'll, 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 I'll read the last two. Go on, and you break it down as well. Again, we'll close up that. Right? If two lie together, then they have heat, but how can one be warm alone? If one prevail against them, two shall withstand, and three, four cord is not quickly broken. Mm -hmm. right. Just going into you know, the power of brotherhood, just basically having 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 someone there, you know, because um, at the end of the day, it's, it's sometimes you just need someone to you know, help you up, you know. For real, bro. You're even going to rely on the brothers yeah. or niggas in the world. So, and you know how quick they are to fuck your shit up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is we all we got, man. Yeah. I mean, you gotta come up, you gotta rely on you know the niggas do rags on in the world. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's it's shy, shy, we'll we'll turn to the brothers, man. Through the spirit, and we believe through the spirit, you know, our men of the Lord, man, you know, Lord willing, you know. Some grimy pop smoke nigga like yeah. <laughs> 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 God, say it's true because it's wrong to get cursed out by a man of the Lord mm. or, 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 or get, you know, kind words from a nigga. Yeah. Because, you know what I mean? It's, 
that you're getting cursed out by a righteous man of the Lord or, or loved by a nigga. You know, you know, could, 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 you know could the scripture it, it says that. King David says that. Let let a uh, 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 righteous smite me. You know, and that's 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 spiritual, man. Like in, like in spiritual terms, you know, being cursed out in righteousness and being and, be, and building up from that point. You know, that's what I would say, bro. At that point. You know, with that, you know, we're going to say all praises on to you. Yeah, Lord, 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 Lord,